Lily is seven. She's a blue-nosed pit bull. Lily fell from the bed, and I noticed she was more sensitive. When I first got her, if I would touch her, even though she would see my hand coming to her, her whole body would shiver. Mm. And, and that's how we met. I needed a second service dog because my first one was getting so old. And uh, it's a lot easier to train with a trained dog. Now I support underneath, and that just clicked. Was a, did you hear that one, Lily? How do you feel? Huh? Aw. Is that a good treatment? Were you okay with that? made a new online course called How to Massage Your Own Dog. So I am so excited. We have Lily here. This is Lily. And this is her owner named Kim. And Kim, tell us a little bit about Lily, her age, her breed, how you met her, how she came into your life. Start um, there. Lily's seven and um, I adopted her from the shelter. Which shelter? Um, Liberty, Liberty Science, oh, over there. Oh, uh, they're in New Jersey, right? Yeah. Yeah. And um, she's a blue-nosed pit bull. Um, a lot of people think she's mixed because she keeps her ears up, but she does that on purpose. Really? Yeah. She can fold them down like a regular pity. Um, and, and that's how we met. I needed a second service dog because my first one was getting so old. And uh, it's a lot easier to train with a trained dog to train a new dog. So that's how Lily came into our life. And, and, and what, what was your first service dog? What did, how, did, how did you interact with your first service dog? Well, she was a red-nosed pit bull. Um, and I got her at East 110th Street. And uh, I trained her myself. Um, I've been working with dogs for a long time. And she was fine until about June she passed away. I'm sorry. Yeah, thank you. But how old was she when she passed away? About 15 and a half. Wow, yeah. that's a nice long life. Oh yeah. And what was her name? Sable. Sable. Yeah. Okay, and then how do you use, like in, in so with Lily, like how does she support you? Um, if I start to get nervous, anxious, um, or if I need support, like my, I had a massive back surgery. So if I need a brace, if I tell her to brace, she'll brace her body so I can go up the steps. Yeah. That's so cool. Yeah. So she really is connected to you. Oh, yeah. yeah. It's so, so closely. Absolutely. I love it. That's so great. So let's see if you can get her on the mat over here. Come on, kiddo. Come here. Bring it. That was pretty cool, what I just saw. Because you going a little, she's so connected, right? Yeah. Okay. And what have you noticed? Like, what made you want to call my office and get on my schedule. So what, did you find me on YouTube first or Instagram? Yes, I found you on YouTube and I was watching your videos and um, Lily fell from the bed and hurt her back leg for, and then it got better. It the was back fun. right? Yes, the back right. And, and how uh, long ago was that? That was about a year ago. Okay. And then I noticed about four weeks ago, she was having problems walking up the steps. She was actually limping up and How many weeks ago slowly. was that? About three weeks. And it was the same leg? Same leg. And, um, and I noticed she was more sensitive. When I first got her, if I would touch her, even though she would see my hand coming to her, her whole body would shiver. Mm. Um, and that got a little bit worse. And every night she would come to me, so I rub her back. And so I was like, okay, it's time. Okay. So you're here today. Yep. Look at the little tuft of hair here, right? That's the microchip. Oh, that's her microchip? Yeah, she got a... Because like, she's a secret agent. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't have one. Embedded in me. I mean. <laughs> so, hey, Lily, could I work with you today? May I please work with you? How do you feel about that? Is it okay if I yep. work with Lily? Absolutely. All right, Lily, try to not be so cute, okay? Can you? Can you turn off the cute? No. You're just cute. You have to be cute all the time. So I'm up here at the Atlas, 
and I'm just feeling this. And this is this gap between the skull and the top bone. I'm also gonna rub some of these muscles and feel and learn how her body's moving. So this muscle down here, here you can feel it. Here, take this. You start up here at this, and it's called the brachiosur. Uh, the big knot? Yeah, no, yeah, it comes down here. Mm -hmm. And this comes down and even attaches to the front part of the top of the leg. So it crosses over. And it, she's a little tight in there. Here, let's stay. have her stay. What do you do? Stop. So I'm going to first rub this muscle. So it's the brachiocephalicus muscle. And it goes from the head all the way down to the upper humerus bone up to here. Mm -hmm. And she's got a little tightness on that side. So that I want to rub it out. I made this online course that I just released called How to Massage Your Dog. Mm -hmm. If you ever want to look it up, it's called howtomassageyourdog.com. Okay. And it's a three and a half hour course mm -hmm. of how to massage your own dog. But um, we talk about all the different muscles. There's a skeletal chapter. There's a chapter on the head, the back, the hips. Uh, it's good for little dogs or big dogs. Why are you so cute? Look at you. So right now I'm in this muscle and that muscle is really important for uh, helping a dog propel forward and I'm still rubbing the muscle and just working it so now I'm back up at the atlas and I'm gonna just do a little adjustment there and feel your arms Motion, compress. Stay there, baby. You're good. I like you on, I like you on your side. Okay, and rub your chest all around the shoulders. The scapula are on the sides of a dog, as and ours are on our, really flat on our back, mm -hmm. but they're a little bit more on the side. And now I'm into the neck here. Here's a little one down here that I'm going to get next. I just feel it slid over. Okay, how was that? Did that feel okay? I just adjusted your C5. You're welcome. You're welcome. It's quite all right, really. But I still have a right atlas I want to get. Okay. Now coming down the back, into the back now. All right, maybe we're going to do the chest next. Yes. Oh, so that's the doorbell. Got distracted by the doorbell. And now I'm down through the thoracics. Dogs have seven bones in their neck, 13 in their thoracics, and seven lumbars. We have seven in the neck, 12 and five, mm -hmm. and seven, 13 and seven. So do cats. Cats have seven, 13 and seven. Horses have seven, 18 and six. Pigs have 15 here. Almost every mammal has seven in the neck, including giraffes, including almost any mammal you could possibly think of. The exceptions are the manatee and the sloth. Hmm. Now the two-toed sloth, uh, the two-toed, two toes, two-toed sloth has five to six vertebrae in the neck. And um, the three-toed sloth has nine. The manatee has six in the neck. But you have seven, just seven. So you're good. And I'm gonna just massage the traps, the trapezius. Okay, and I'm coming down the back and just giving you a nice good old massage because that's what you love. So here's the muscle again here. It can feel right in there. So that's a muscle knot right here. Yeah. Okay, and I might even adjust that with, with this instrument, okay? All right. Because that one comes down, crosses over here and attaches to the front of the humerus. So when this is tight, it's hard to lift that front right leg. And that's not the main reason you brought her in, but I'm looking for everything. You know, I'm just seeing what she shows up with here. And you can feel it again here. It's right in there is a tender spot. I feel it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So that's something you can massage at home. And it's so easy. On you, may I touch it where it yeah. would be on you? Yeah. I'll do it on your right, uh, your left, because it's closer, mm -hmm. okay? So I'm kind of in there. Got it. And it's tender on all of us, right? Yeah, it is. But they really have a very important muscle. So the horses that come across, right down.
down into here. Mm -hmm. So when you when it pulls, you can lift your arm up. Makes sense. And also, if it if they um, it can also help turn the head a little bit. And so I'm just in there rubbing it out. Feels good, right? Just to be massaged. We do that. You like when I massage you? Yeah, you're a good person. Good doggy. All right, so now I'm still working in there. And I'm going to keep going. All right. You don't seem to mind this too much, do you? You like all the touch therapy, right? Yeah, you get a little body work today. Who knew? All right. Let's keep her here. You know, my daughter's name is Lily. I mentioned it to you, but yeah. people might not know that. And um, Lily's my daughter, and your name is Lily. So we have that in common, right? We both have <laughs> daughters named Lily. Absolutely. So now this is a very important area. This is where the thoracic ends and the lumbars begin. So it's called the thoracolumbar junction. And it's one of the highest areas to get arthritis on any quadruped. Um, Humans tend to get a little lower at L4, L5, and L5S1, but quadrupeds can definitely get tender here. And I'm gonna switch over to this instrument. And I'm right at the, right where T13 meets L1. You see it's really soft. Mm -hmm. I'm not hurting. Now, why am I doing this? You're wondering that, Lily, right? Besides, hopefully it feels good. But once I get below here, a lot of these nerves have to do with your, your rear end uh, gait, your rear end lameness if there's an issue, right? Mm -hmm. So and she, we say lame with, with dogs and bikes and horses and pets. You know, I wouldn't say, hey, Kim came in lame today. We wouldn't say that so much with humans, although it's an antiquated word, it, it, or it used to be used, um, you know, where they would say, oh, grandpa's lame now, yeah. but that would be a hundred years ago. Yeah. Uh, today, we don't use that with humans, but we do say with a, a dog, we might say the dog is a little uh, lame on the back end or, or rear end lameness, and that's a word used properly. So, now I support underneath, and that just clicked. It was a, did you hear that one, Lily? I'm going to stand and get a little more. Okay. There we go. I might even put her across your lap. Can we put her yeah, across your lap? That's fine. So you're going to, she's going to just lay right across your lap. Yeah, there we go. Stay. But that'll give me more leverage. <laughs> Stay. It's okay. It's almost like making a chiropractic table, mm -hmm. right? So <laughs> now I got her under here. That's a tender spot. Let me get this here. We're almost done. It's okay, Kim. Stay. That's, this is where it comes. So now I'm at L6 and L7, right by the top of the sacrum. Here's the sacrum. See, it makes your whole leg jump. This one's pretty powerful. Mm -hmm. You said you've had this done with your other dog, right? Yeah. With Sable, probably? Yeah. I'm going to get on the hip a little bit. Watch how it makes the hamstring jump. You'll come around this way, you'll see. So if I hit this, it'll make the hamstring jump. The whole thing just goes doom, doom, doom. Now I'm here on the hip socket. Let's bring this leg into extension. Okay. Let me bring the leg back and hold. And a little more. Just a good old stretch, right, Kim? Oh, yeah. You see, I'm not overdoing it. I'm taking it to Lily's range of motion and then holding it. Right there. That's all she wants to give me right now. And then she'll give me a little more. Good. Let's compress the leg and compress it again. And let's bring it back again. Thanks, baby. I'm going to just bring your leg back to extension. And that's the one you saw is the, the rear right, right? Absolutely. 
All right, so this is, this is, you know, the main reason they came in is this area. So now I'm gonna get on the top of the femoral head. That's too strong, let me turn this down a little bit. And I'm also gonna do a AS ilium adjustment on that side. So this one, I have to reach into kind of like the crotch area, yeah. and this will make a dog go and So I'm just warning you, That's fine. Lily might be tender there, because we all are. So let me just do this one. No, missed it. Get a little height. All right, there it is. And I just pull that hip back in. Now let me just feel the tail. Take a breath. Lily, take a breath. One more. So I don't yank on this, I'm just holding it and she's kind of pulling away. We're just tractioning. Just let me have it. One more, Lily. I'm down here, I'm working on your glutes. Am I the first person today to rub your glutes like this? Maybe. Good. In the glutes, pull this leg now. Feel your little knee, feeling the knee. Work on the feet. Your little hock, your little knee, bring your leg out, holding it. Abduction, right? Remember that, right, Lily, from school? But I stabilize up here. You see that, Kim? Yeah. You come to this side for a second, you'll see. You shoot right over my shoulder. All right, so I'm in this hip now. All right. All right, right in there. That's a knot too. Here, put your thumb in there. Replace your thumb with my thumb. I mean, your thumb with. Oh, I feel it. Yeah, so I'm working that one now. God. I think that was where the problem was. I think that got jammed, a little sprained. This is gonna feel so good when I'm done, Lily. Can you, oh, there you go. Can you hand me that little uh, activator instrument? Thank you. One more. And there you go. So let's do something. Are we allowed to take Lily's leash off for a minute? Oh yeah, she's fine. Let's just see if yeah. she wants to shake out a little bit. So let her just, well, right away. She didn't even wait for that. How do you feel, baby? How do you feel? Huh? Aw. Is that a good treatment? Were you okay with that? Oh, I see. So I think that went pretty well. Yeah. Are you happy with what you saw? No. Because I know good. you know her so well. Okay? She looks good. She enjoyed it. Yeah. Because it's good to get work done when you've got some aches and pains. You know? This is special. I don't do this for everybody. The old, the old butt rub. Okay, you're so cute. All right. Thank you for coming in today. And thank you for letting me work with you. All right. Everybody leave Lily a comment and let us know what you think, okay? She's so cute. Thank you, Kim. I appreciate it. Thank you so much. All right. Come on, kiddo. You ready? Oh, oh you're ready. Come on, baby. Let me see. What do you think watching that, Kim? What was your what was your impression of it or your takeaway? I liked how relaxed she was. She yeah. was fidgety at first, but she's like that all the time. But um, she, when you get in the right spot, like when they rub back at night, that's how she gets, she gets back and still. Yeah. And normally she starts licking the air, but she enjoyed it. And okay, she's so moving better. 
So you see a difference, oh, right? Oh, yeah, I definitely do. She's moving better. Good. She seems like she's moving with uh, confidence. Yeah. Like she's not tentative. Yeah, yeah. So really nice. I appreciate it. Thank you so much. Thank you. You're really awesome. Lily is seven. She's a blue-nosed pit bull. Lily fell from the bed, and I noticed she was more sensitive. When I first got her, if I would touch her, even though she would see my hand coming to her, her whole body would shiver.